I swear I'm going to freak if my boyfriend decides to like because he said he's only leaving work at one o'clock it's quarter to one so if he's here by half past one and he starts rushing me I'm gonna go crazy what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel um, in today's video I'm doing another makeup look but it's actually a good ready for with me get ready for me <laughs> it's actually just a uh, get ready with me because i'm heading out today with my boyfriend for his year-end work function it is a bit of a casual event but obviously you gotta look presentable so i decided to do a little get ready with me for this the look that i'm going to be trying to do i don't really plan my looks i just kind of pick a palette and go with it um but basically the look that i'm going for is something that you can also use for your christmas party or a casual christmas get together or something like that i don't know whatever you're doing for christmas i'm talking really fast and i'm being really just like just blur everywhere because i have i have an hour and a half to get ready so that's do makeup hair and dress up and everything because i am running late because I had to go to the mall to find something to wear first. And I freaking hate the mall. Let's, let's do this, shall we? I'm going to skip straight to when I have my foundation and everything on. But I am using my Fenty Beauty Primer and Foundation. And for my eyebrows, I'm using the same old, same old. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil. So I'm going to go and do this. Um, and I'll come back with a more full coverage face in a little bit. Okay, so my eyebrows and my foundation is done with the light touch. I really hope that this is all matching. If it's not, I'm just going to have to blend more because I'm really rushed. And I really hope my eyebrows are even. But do I care right now? No. So I'm just priming my lids with the Urban Decay. What is this even? Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I don't really use this often. Okay, so the two palettes that I'm going for today trying to keep my area neat while still getting this done because usually I'll have makeup everywhere and I don't want to do they not even have space to do the makeup anyway so the two palettes I'm going for here is the Morphe what is this artistry palette and my Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette this one mainly just for the nude mainly just for like the transition colors and then I'm going to go ahead and use all my colors and stuff in this one because this palette is the bomb. So, don't even know what the hell I'm going to do. I'm just going to go with the flow here and hope that it turns out right. I look like a potato when I bring you guys so close. Okay, so, um, let me set my lid with a color first. I'm going in with the first transition shade on this palette. Just doing that. I know some people say that you're really not supposed to. You really don't have to set um, your lid when it comes to putting a primer on. But I don't like putting eyeshadow in my crease when my eyelid is a bit sticky, if you know what I mean. I like it to be a bit dry. Um, just so it can smooth on quickly. Especially when I'm in a rush. I hate blotchiness and sitting forever trying to blend this out. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with the color canvas, which is almost the same color, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'll go in with Vivid on the Morphe palette, which is this color over here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm gonna go in with saffron in the Huda Beauty palette which is this one over here and I'm gonna concentrate that in my outer corner and hope for the best we're blended kind of okay I'm gonna go in with the color Eden let me just take this thing off okay I'm going to go in with Eden and I'm going to just use it to soften up the edges on the outside so I don't look completely crazy. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to cut my crease, which is something I have not done in an extremely long time. Do I even still have the brush that I used to use to cut my crease? Oh, I do. Got it. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna cut my crease in the usual place that you would cut your crease. No, nothing fancy, honestly. Just gonna take a little bit of my concealer. And um, again, let's do this and hope for the best. So there we go. We're cut and we're not even at all. And now I'm gonna go in with those same crease colors so that I can um, just make everything one and then we'll move into the fun glitter part. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of saffron and I'm gonna dab it on the edges again so that I can blend it inwards towards where I cut the crease, if you know what I mean. Let's go in with some glitter. And I'm gonna go in with um, Angelic on the inner part of my lid where I cut the crease. Then I'm gonna go in with the gold on my inner corners. Now I'm just gonna add a wing liner and I'll be right back. Okay, wing liner's done. This is definitely not how dramatic I wanted them to be, but it just happened. So we're gonna roll with it. Okay, let's conceal. Then I'm going to just set my concealer with my usual banana powder. So for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with that canvas again as a base. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of amber from the Huda palette. I'm using my Too Faced Natural Face palette. I've seen this a thousand times and I'm going in with Sunny Honey. And I'm going to go in with Pink Sand, which is this blush over here. I have a stupid Taylor Swift song in my head, and I think it's Taylor Swift. I honestly don't know. Damn it, my battery! Okay, my battery's back. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. I don't know which color this one is in. Oh, oh it's the Golden Sands Edition. So. the new Labello uh, color lip balm crayon in black cherry this one I literally just bought it today let's give this a go for the first time on camera shall we okay okay so um, my memory card just ran out of space and this is the last memory card that I have the other two are completely full so um, I was I think it cuts off when I was trying out the lip balm. So this, they freaking awesome. But this is a bit too purplish to match my eyes. So I put the black cherry. And then I put the nude over it to kind of just lighten it a bit. So I don't even know if my lips go with my eyes. But we're going with it. So I'm just going to curl my hair. Okay, I'm just joking. I still need to comb them out. But I want these curls to just cool down a bit because they're really hot before I brush them out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change and put on my outfit and then put on some mascara, curl my lashes. Then I will show you the final look in a little bit. So let's go do that. Okay, so this is the final look, you guys. My curls are brushed out. My makeup is done. I just need to add earrings, but whatever. So I got this cute little gray top. I'm wearing a top underneath the top. New jeans. And if I go further back enough, I'm sure you can see 
the entire outfit. And then I've got these um, cute velvet sneakers, which I cannot show you right now. And yeah, this is the outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And follow all of my social media down below. And with that, I'm going to go tidy up my room because it is hell of a mess right now. Adios amigos. Okay, so I'm ready and <laughs> you can bend down. <laughs> no. You can bend down. No. <laughs> and wave right there together. And I was ready on time. Yep. Yeah. You didn't see him nod, but he nodded. <laughs> we ready? There we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>